Hello and welcome back to another episode of Mr. Boxman. This is season 2, episode 4, and this time we'll be doing the separation wall. But Mr. Boxman, you handsome devil, why don't you do like all the others I hear you ask? And remove this wall and install some swivel seats. Well, I don't want to be like everybody else, and I also kinda like the privacy it will give me. No messing around with blackout curtains and so on. This cat is named Zelda, and she has volunteered to supervise this episode. Before we start, I have some news about my roof. It didn't work out, so I took it down and redid it. While doing so, I ended up with these wrinkles. They annoyed the piss out of me, but I can't afford to redo it again, and luckily I found a way to cope with my feelings. Anyway, let's roll the intro and get started. Bum, bum, ba-dum, bum, bum. Mr. Boxman. I started with cutting these pieces of wood, arranged them like this, and then glued and screwed them together. This will be my ventilation, and I made sure the grill fitted before I proceeded. I made another one much the same way, and screwed them in place in the van. Then I screwed these wooden supports in place. There will be two light switches on the wall and I ran cables to them. I had to drill holes to run the cables through at some places. I made a very simple ventilation duct out of plywood and put it in place before I finished the cables. One light switch will go here for lights for cooking and such. And the other one will go here, and that will be the main lights for the van. When the cables were in place, I put up insulation. I made a wall out of plyboard. It took a lot of adjustments till it fitted. When it finally was the shape I wanted, I made a hole for the light switch. Then I filled any imperfections with putty. I dressed the wall with the same material I used for the roof. It's not organic so it won't mold and it's easy to clean. When the glue was dry I cut the excess material off and screwed it in place in the van. If you plan on doing this yourself, then first of all what are you doing listening to me? It clearly says in the title that I have no experience doing this. If you despite that are going to do this, I'd recommend that you use nails instead of screws to avoid getting these swirls around the screws. I'll be covering this with lists later on so it's not the end of the world, but if I had to redo it, I would do it differently. The next piece of the wall will be a corner, so I screw two pieces of plyboard together to form that corner. It got the same treatment as the former wall. Due to the handle for the door and the shape of the floor, a portion of the wall would be exposed, and I decided to cover that with the same material I used for the monster. I 
I then went to cover the wall much like I did with the other piece, and when the glue was dry, I screwed it in place. With the wall in place, it's just the light switch is left to install. This is the end result. It's terrible, so it will match the rest of the van. Uh, it will however be slightly better once the lists are in place, but I can't put them in before I put in the cupboards. This is it for this time. Take care of yourselves now and I hope you'll join me in the next episode when we will be addressing this wall.